Hello everyone. Today I am going to tell you how we can find the LCM of 2, 3 or 4 numbers just by inspection or just by looking at the numbers you can tell what is the LCM of these numbers. Children at the basic level are taught the method to find the LCM that is they write the numbers like this and then they find which is the common divisor of the numbers and they carry on with the procedure. Now this is a good method at school level but when you uh, deal with the questions at competitive level these type of methods will consume lot of time. So today I am going to tell you this how in 2 or 3 seconds you can find the LCM of 4 numbers or 3 numbers and so on. First of all for understanding this you must inspect the numbers which are given and check which is the highest number. Now in this first case you have 50 as the highest number and now after marking the highest number among the given numbers you have to see how many other numbers have 50 as its multiple. I mean if we write the table of 5 we will have 50, 5 tens are 50. If we write the table of 10, 10 fives are 50. If we write the table of 25, 25 twos are 50. So all these numbers are multiples of the highest number 50. So whenever we have this situation where the highest number of all given numbers is a multiple of the remaining numbers, it is divisible by all these numbers, then we arrive at the LCM directly, the highest number is the required LCM. No need of writing this long method, just inspect and check whether the highest number is a multiple of remaining numbers or not. This is first condition. Now come to another condition. In the second problem, here we have 18 as the highest number, but we see that Although 18 exists in the table of 3, 3 6 are 18, table of 9, 9 2 are 18, but there is one number which is not a factor of 18. 18 does not exist in the table of 12. So what we do is we eliminate these numbers 3 and 9 because they are the divisors of 18 and now we can write the multiples of 18. If 18 is not divisible by 12, then just check the next multiple of 18. 18 to the 36. Now we have 36 as the next multiple of 18. Now check whether 36 is divisible by 12 or not. So obviously 12 3 is 36. So 36 is divisible by 12. So we have the LCM as 36. So cancel out all the divisors of the highest number and if there is a number which is not dividing this highest number then highest number has to be increased and subsequent multiples of this highest number will surely give you the LCM. See another case, now we have 7, 14 and 35, 35 is the highest number, 7 divides 35, 7 5 are 35 so we cancel out 7. But 14 does not divide 35. So we write next multiple of 35 which is 70. Now 14 5 the 70. 14 is a divisor of 70. So LCM is 70. See, just by inspection and by getting rid of all traditional methods, you can find the LCM by inspection. Now 8, 11, and 16. Yet another case where we have 16 as the highest number. 8 is a divisor of 16 so we cancel out 8 that is out of question now 8 we are only left with 11 and 16 now observe that this number 11 is a prime number so when we have a prime number among the numbers whose LCM is to be found out the process becomes easier we don't have to write the multiples of 16 now we just have to multiply the highest number by the prime number and there you get the LCM 176 is the answer. So in case of prime numbers the 
process of taking LCM becomes simpler. Let us take one more example, 2, 9, 13 and 18. Now in this case, 2, 9, 13 and 18, we have the highest number as 18. 2 is a divisor of 18, 2, 9 is 18. 9 is a divisor of 18, 9, 2 is 18. Only thing we are left with is 13. Now 13 is a prime number. Now whenever we have a prime number, we just multiply the highest number with the prime number. So that will give us the required answer. So, this is the process of finding the LCM in case of two numbers, three numbers, four numbers. You can just have a look at the numbers just by using basic rules of multiplication, basic rules of divisibility. You can find out the LCM of these numbers. So, we have the final answer here. 234 as the answer. How we can use this concept of LCM to find the addition and difference of rational numbers? Now see, things become so easy when we know the LCM uh, orally. Now here 10 and 25. 10 is not a factor of 25. So we write the multiples of 25. Multiples of 25. 25 to the 50. 10 divides 50. So 50 is the LCM. No need to write this. and. Just take the multiples of 25 and the, the multiple which is a divisor which uh, exactly comes in the table of 10 is the LCM. Now three, 5 to the 10, 5 5 the 25, 3 5 the 15, 7 to the 14, so answer is 29 upon 15. So all traditional methods of adding the rational numbers does not prove good when you are facing competitive exams. Yet another 9 and 12. 9 does not divide 12. So take multiples of 12. 12 to the 24. Again 9 does not divide 24. Take next multiple 36. 9 for the 36. So 36 is the LCM. Now 9 and 12 they come in the table of 3. 3 3 is a 9. 3 4 is a 12. 7 4 is a 28. 5 3 is a 15. So your answer is 13 upon 36. Likewise, you can go on and on. 7 divides 35, so LCM is 35. 7 1 the 7, 7 5 the 35, 11 5 the 55, plus 2 1 the 2, 57 upon 35 is the answer. 11 and 8, do not divide each other. 11 is a prime number, so directly you can multiply. 88 and just cross multiply. 40 minus 33, 7 upon 88. 2, 5 and 7, they are all prime numbers, so you can directly multiply 7, 5 the 35 to the 70, 35 plus 14 minus 30, so this is 19 upon 70. See friends, the concept of LCM helps us to solve so many rational number problems and things become so easier when you have the knowledge of these basic shortcuts basic methodologies through which you can find the LCM of given numbers just by inspection. So keep learning, keep enjoying and subscribe the channel if you like it.